Welcome back to another little bit of Lisp. This time we're going to take a trip back to A-lists and we're going to look at another function for accessing things in A-lists called RASIC. So as a quick recap, we've looked at A-lists in the past. They're a way of using con cells to perform these kind of, uh, to form rather, these kind of associative mappings where you have a key and a value and you want them as a pair and you want to be able to access the value based on the key. So as you can see here, we have this A-list and we use the function ASIC passing in the key A um, and you can see that it's returned this con cell here. So we can then extract this value by using CUDA. Um, and again, if we pass in D, we get this con cell here. So we're able to look things up pretty easily. Again, let's just for the sake of argument, let's do it again with B and you can see that we get B and two. So all's going well so far, but what if we wanted, if we had to, but we wanted to find out which one of these con cells held B. So it's rather than looking from key to value, now we want to look from cap value to key as it were. And this is the job of RASIC. Now, I, I don't know what the actual kind of original um, etymology of this, I think of it either as kind of a reverse ASIC or a right ASIC um, because it looks at the CUDA rather than the car. But what we're going to do is we're going to pass in two and the A list and notice that it did what we wanted. We passed in two and it's brought us back this console. So rather than looking at the left hand side, our cars to match, we're looking at the CUDAs to match. So again, we could say three and we're going to get back C here. Now, just like before, if you have duplicate keys, ASIC was going to pick the first one. The same is true of RASIC. So if we look up based on one, even though A is paired with one, it is going to return this one because it scans through the list and it found this one first. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're using this. This is the RASIC function and I'll see you in another little bit of Lisp.